Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, as you would have read from the title, I bid at an auction and I won. I've never bid at a proper auction before, this was my first time. I've bid on places like eBay, but this one was a proper auction house, very local to me. First time, very exciting. This entire box, which is quite big, cost me £18. Very excited because I believe the contents in there is probably worth quite a lot more. Some of it's quite old and probably no good and it's going to up in the bin, but I'm hoping to find a few good things in there. So I'm going to show you guys what I've got. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah, let's get started. So, can you guess what I bid on? If you guess nail stuff, then you are very correct. So, as you can probably see, there is quite a lot of really old looking stuff. Like that is really dusty. But the whole box is generally filled up with loads of stuff. And I'm assuming whoever had it was either perhaps soon to become a nail tech or they were at a nail tech and have given up. There's a hell of a lot of stuff in here. I'm very excited to show you guys what it is. It's going to be an interesting video and you never know there might be some really good stuff in here. So as you can see the first main thing in the box is a UV lamp. So I don't particularly like the look of this lamp. It's got a very small gap in it. Like it's ideal for my fingers, but because obviously I do a lot of nail art and practice tips, like they will not fit in there, and it's not as powerful as my normal lamp that I use. So it's we'll probably end up going to a charity shop. But yeah, I won't be using that. But I have tested it and it does work all fine. I don't know how much it's worth. Probably about five euro or tenner. So already like I'm off to a good start on the eighteen pounds that I paid. Then next. Is this cute little item I don't think it's nail related to me it sort of more looks like a jewelry stand or something like something to put your necklaces on it's kind of cute but yeah it's not nail related probably worth a couple of good day then I've got this little thing which is a cute little duck dryer very noisy, I've actually got one of these very similar, it's my monkey dryer that I bought as like a novelty gift, I was sort of like curious as to how it worked, I don't look like it's working at the moment but I do sort of see a more as novelty gifts than I do like actual practical things, but it's cute, I'll probably just put it on my shelf next to my monkey one, so noisy though. <laughs> then as you can see, the main thing in this box, which to be honest I don't think they're much good, is all these little nail art pens. I don't know how many is there, quite a lot of them. They do come, oh, drop it. They do come in this little stand. They're really cute but they all look pretty well used and some are dried up, some are separated and I'm probably just going to chuck all of them away. I might keep the stand and replace them with some new nail art pens though. It's cute but like you can sort of see the contents there, it's just not very healthy at all. So yeah, I think I'll give that one a miss. Then onto the fun part which is probably what I'm most excited about. All the little goodies. So first of all I've got a luxury hand wash. Looks like it might be brand new. A lavender and chamomile one, kind of cute, yeah. Matching with it, I've got this lavender and chamomile soap. I'm not really a fan of bars of soap, but it's cute. I don't really like the smell of lavender either. Then I've got this matching luxury bath and shower gel. Um, so here we've got a load of caviar beads. Now these I will definitely use, I've already got loads of caviar beads but it's always nice to have spare, probably not going to run out for a long time so that's ideal, I like the little case they come in as well. Here we've got some really strange lashes, like I'm never going to wear these, they're like 
no offense, but they're kind of like drag queen style, really. They're not really, I like fancy dress, but I'm not really a fan of fake lashes anyway, so I'm not really going to do a lot of them. I might just give them to a charity shop again. But apparently, they pay six pounds a month for them, so yeah, I definitely think I'm getting my money's worth out of this box. Here, we have got some individual lashes, intense neon semi permanent lashes. Again, I wouldn't wear them, but. They were 4 99 brand new apparently, so yeah. <laughs> Got some false nails here. I don't really wear nails like this anymore, but it's still kind of cute. Like, I do for my little kids or whatever. Looks like the contents of those ones are missing. Look like they have some 3D flowers in there at some point. But I'll probably use the blue that's come with it if it's any good. Some acetone nail polish solution. Not much left in that bottle as you can see. They might come in useful at some point. Looks like a few have been used out of them, but still pretty much most of them there. I have no idea what this thing is like. It's very sort of leathery looking. I have no idea. It's got a little handle. It sort of reminds me of a little mini like iron. But yeah, if anyone knows what this is, please let me know. I'd love to know what it's for. It's a bit of a strange thing, but yeah. Then we have got some more short square, Just, I call them more like scoop or whatever, but nail tips, I've never got a nail glue, I probably won't use tips but I will try out the nail glue. Here we've got some nail foil stickers in camo, there's also some tiger ones there, I might use them at some point to see how they are, but I've never actually used nail foil stickers and I won't really know how to use them but I might give it a go and figure it out. And here we've got some more nail stickers, cute little holographic ones, load of nail forms, I've already got so many of these. I've probably got about a thousand of these in my drawer. See the um, stickers that you used to get as like a kit, it's just different stuff there. But I might try them on some nails see how they look. Some little holographic water decals by the looks of it. I've got some seahorses, hearts, flowers. They're kind of cute. I'll definitely give them a go. Some more. I think they're stickers again. They're kind of cute and I do like them. So I probably will give them a go at some point as well. And even more stickers. Some cutesy little flowers. They're more sort of thing that I'll be put on kids so I will not use them like on myself or anything. But I might have to them anyway. Yeah, they're kind of cute. <laughs> There's literally so much in this box. That is so sticky. So here we have got what looks like a load of pots of coloured hard gel. Although judging by how sticky the package is, I'd say they've leaked a little bit. So I don't know if I'll be using them at all, but yeah, they're a nice little set though. I've not actually seen like colored ones like that in the set, so I'm gonna have a look online and see if I can get some other ones. And we've got some acrylic powder, I would say. Looks like it's a brand new pot of acrylic powder. Here's a Chinese one, it's probably not gonna be all that good. I use nail nails, so I probably won't use that one. A buffer block, got plenty of them. Another file buffer block thing, but I've never found them to be much good, so I won't be using that. Here, it looks like we've got some glitters. Quite a lot in there, a bit of a mess. It looks like also maybe some pigment powders. There's a good chunk in that box there. Also, looks like it's a couple of loose ones as well. Some little 3D flowers. I wonder if they're part of that other set that come with just some nail glue. Maybe they're flowers that are meant to be in it. Again, I'm not really into the big chunky 3D flowers, but I might have a play of them. They look so gross. Let's <laughs> see how stained they are. I'm not even too sure what they are. I guess they're just more nail stickers, but I think they'll be going in the bin. I love these. I've already got some vinyls like these, but I'll definitely, definitely make some use out of them because I love zips. Um, some nail forms, I'd say. So then we've got 
These are really cute, they're like little gems. I don't really know how they're meant to work, whether they're actually made for your nails or not. I've seen some people like drilling holes in nails and sort of like having little danglies of them, so maybe that's what they're for. They're hella pretty though, I do really like them. Some more nail <laughs> stickers that I've definitely seen better days. So they'll be going straight in the bin. That's really cute. It's like a little turtle charm thing. Kind of looks like it's more meant to go on a necklace though than it is nail art. But it's still really pretty, I do love that. Obviously got some more pigment, um, yeah, pigment powder sort of lying around in here apparently. So I will definitely play them because I love pigment powders and I've actually been meaning to get some more. So I'll definitely have a play with these ones and some nail tips and see what they're like. Some cutesy little, oopsie. Some cutesy little purple gems. What are they? Look like butterflies. But yeah, I don't know if I use them or not. What are these ones there? There's some more similar, but it looks like they're love heart shaped. I've got a sort of rose gold glitter. I've already got rose gold glitter, very similar to that actually. It looks like quite a good size pot, so it's always handy. What's this? Acrylic liquid, so that'll be your monument. I've never really seen it come in a glass bottle like that before. But yeah, it's got half full. I might give it a go. We shall see. I won't be using that on my own fingers or anybody else's, but. I might have a play with some nail tips and see what that one was like, see if it's any good. Some more pigment powder again. There's quite a few of them actually down here. Oh, another glitter. I've actually got a glitter identical to that. Sort of the red with like the greeny orange tint to it. Okay. Well stopped on the glitter front. The state of these nail art pens though. Like yeah, they've definitely seen better days and it says special effects on it. Interesting, but that's a shame, they're just like absolutely no good to new one. Kinda looks like cream cheese. But yeah, hey ho. I don't think there's much else in here other than nail polish. What's that? Are oh, there like little mini sparkly silver gems? Mm. What are they? <laughs> they're just like sequins. Not really practical again to be putting on nails. They're more like what you find in the kids' art and craft section. But hey ho, I might let my boy do some pretty decorating with them. But yeah, that looks like that is all the little niggly bits. That is there. Oh, I hate these things for vengeance. They're such a pain. The little heart shaped things. But yeah. I think this kit was probably what someone was using to just sort of start out their collection. Got the guide letter there for the UV lamp. Which like I said, I'm probably going to give away to a charity shop or something because it's just not... My one's better so I'm going to swap out my good one for that one. But yeah, as you can see that was all my bits that I got like that wasn't nail polish. Now I've also got all these nail polishes like I don't know if they're going to be any good or not. But I do think it's worth £18. I like the pigment powders and the gems. I don't really see me using much of it on my own nails or anybody else's, but I might just use some of the good bits for um, doing nail art and tips. But yeah, I'm going to fast forward now, run through all these different nail polishes for you guys, and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Oh. Uh -huh. 
So yeah, that's the renewal finishes. So to be honest, I think probably about 80% of this box is probably going to be going in the bin because stuff like that, it's just like, I don't even want to know what's going on with this one. It's sort of got like a blue liquid and then just like this solid brown lump in the middle. And yeah, it just looks pretty gross. But like, I only paid £18 for all this stuff I've shown you in this video. So I do think realistically, I probably have got my money's worth. Like I said, like 80% of it's probably going to be going in the bin. But like, the pigment powders, some of these like nail art stickers I will keep. Um, nail glue, caviar beads. Um, things like that I'm going to keep hold of and suss out what the hell I'm doing with them. Um, all these like nail bowls and that were going in the bin. Most of these nail brushes were going in the bin. But like as you can see, like there's quite a few good brands in the nail polish collection. Like they're not all here, obviously. I've just shown you all of them. I've got a load over there as well. But like there was some Estee Lauder, there's some Number Seven, Sally Hansen. There was like quite a few de decent brands. I like. Originally, when all this stuff was freshly bought, like it was probably worth at least a hundred quid, if not more, because like Estee Lauder nail polishes and like number seven that like, aren't particularly cheap. There's a normal one in there. Like they're mainly drugstore nail polishes. There's also quite a lot of Chinese ones in here. Like I said, like the acrylic powder. That's obviously Chinese and. I, I've tried them when I first started out doing nails and there's no good to new one hence why I've moved on to new nails because I love that acrylic powder but like I'm pretty happy like it was just good fun I just got like this box got mentioned to me because obviously like my friend knew I was into nails and I thought well you know what why not it's a new experience it was good fun I've enjoyed it I haven't like really got a lot out of it there's definitely a few items there I got my money's worth. I'll give some bits away. Most of these nail polishes were going in the bin, like there's no art pens, they're definitely going in the bin. But overall I'm pretty happy. I'll probably clean the duck up and put them on the shelf with like some monkey. Just for I like to have all these pretty things on in my room. I'm probably gonna give this top coat a go, just out of curiosity, because I'm trying to find a new top coat that I actually enjoy using. Oh, Yukio has been my favourite band of Top Coat for quite a while now but for some reason there was some fault with the last batch that I bought of them it was really thick and cloudy and wasn't how like it normally is I've been buying it for the last year I've been more than happy that the way it cures and everything it keeps it shine but the last batch I bought was absolutely awful so I've been sort of exploring my options if you've been watching my nail art videos you've probably noticed that I've had a few different Top Coats in there but I still haven't found the one yet, so I'm going to try this one out and see what that's like. Um, if you do have any recommendations on a good top coat that's not like really expensive because I get through it like there's no tomorrow, please let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've actually, like, I've done, I've done this auction like two weeks ago, and I've just been waiting to film it and hung around to it, and the box just been sat there doing my dinner, just taking up some dreams, so I sort of just want to go through it all check away what I don't want, stuff like that, like the lashes, I'd never wear them in a million years, all those ones, and I can't even think of anyone that would wear them, so I'm probably just going to chuck them away, but yeah, I'm going to go through it all properly and see what's worth keeping and what's not, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to please like it, subscribe, if you had it, have any video suggestions, Please let me know as well down in the comments below because I'm always looking for new video ideas. I've got so many lined up but like I, keep, I like to sort of keep them lined up for you guys so like, 
I post videos every other day or try my very best to, I'm pretty consistent. Occasionally I might miss a day but I will definitely upload the day after. So that's a lot of videos, so if you have any suggestions or anything you would like me to see me do, or buy, test out review any nail arts that you'd like to see me do, let me know for sure and I'll see what I can do. But yeah, much love to you guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.